Hey Color Bees, it's your color coach Brandy. I am back with a shoe haul for fall and a lot of these styles are from DSW, some of them are not, but the good thing about that is you know you can get them in person at a store and you can get them fairly quickly online. It also means the price is right and the variety is plenty. So let's get right into it. The first pair of boots I'm gonna show you is a pointed toe buckle detail boot. It's got a block heel, classic black color. And what I like about these is that they're fun but also classic. Everything about this is classic and then you've got this buckle detail. It is definitely a designer look for less. Here's an up close and personal detail look at the boot. Very beautiful color and because of the block heel you know it's going to be very comfortable. The next pair is a classic brand. They're Tommy Hilfiger. They're a wine colored loafer. It's got some gold hardware and detail. Super beautiful. It's going to look really beautiful with any shades of brown and black. And one thing I love about these is that they're so versatile. This sort of wine color also is giving brown. And it's one of those flex colors, which, you know, I love color. I love something that can kind of go both ways. I got these in my regular size eight and a half. The fit is perfect. I think these are a really great add if you are looking for a loafer and you want some added details. Because for me, the details is what makes a look. And that's what makes a look look really good and pricey. Those added details. You've got the fringe here. You've got the gold Tommy Hill figure hardware on it. I think those details make this a really beautiful fall shoe. The next shoe is this really beautiful combination of a sling bag and a loafer. These are Ancline from DSW. I'll put one down and show you this one up close for the details. But it's got that really beautiful croc embossed like print, which again, we're talking about details here. That's gonna make this shoe look very, very cool with different looks. And if you live in a place like Houston, like I do, where you're hitting fall temps, but not consistently, or actually you're not really hitting fall temps yet because it still feels like summer, <laughs> try out this one. This one has the closed toe, which means we're getting ready for fall. And then we've got the sling back, which also means it's still a little bit hot outside. These are extremely comfortable to wear. And I think you'll love these for its comfort and its style. This next shoe is, of course, designer for less look. I've seen this all over the place and it just doesn't get old for me. The key takeaways that I love about this shoe is that classic pointed toe, so good. The heel is a kitten heel height, which means comfort. You're getting all of the look of a heel with comfort, which is extremely important. We're saving our toes. We're saving our big toe, pinky toe, all the toes, right? Again, we're giving fall in the front and it's still a little bit warm in the back. Before I show you the next shoe, <laughs> just know that when I saw these, I fell in love. <laughs> these are Crocs slippers. So it's got that kind of soft bottom. This is not a run around in the streets type of shoe, although I probably will be running around in the streets in them. This is a drop off shoe, you know, school drop off. This is a school drop off shoe for me because I'm just gonna go in and drop the kids off, come back out. I'm not doing anything crazy, right? But it's got that classic croc design. You've got the strap that can go in the front. You can also put it around your heel. It's got that soft bottom and it's got this cozy, fluffy texture on it. And that is what drew me to the shoe, the texture and the color. Such a fun and comfortable and cozy style. The next boot is a biker boot that is like a knee boot. Um, I like this color because it's not quite black and it's not quite brown. It's like one of those dark browns that's kind of distressed, which is super cool. On the side, we've got the buckle detail. And if you have a slender calf like I do, you can tighten these buckles to give it a better fit on the side if you want it to be more snug. You've also got a detail buckle here that you can tighten. And you've got the classic O-ring here and on the inside of the boot. Very comfortable. You just slip your foot in with a comfy sock and you wear this. It is very comfortable on the toe because of the square shape of the toe. Highly, highly recommend. I also feel like a boot like this will give your outfit a little bit of edge. If you want something a little bit edgy, like a sweater dress with a little boot, I think this is gonna do the job for you. When I saw this next boot, it was a no brainer. This is a designer look for less. We've got that classic black, this really great looking leather. It's a fold over boot, but it's got a little wedge very cute these also come in a different style that's not a wedge where it's like a regular heel i think wedges are super comfortable so i opted for this one but these are so good very fun very cool girl i don't know what you've been told but these are going to be all over the place this fall the next shoe that's up you already know 
it was the color that brought me here, right? Right. We've got a pointed toe sling bag. These are a year round type shoe. I love that the red was so bright and bold and shiny. It's like a ruby red. And then when I wore these, I realized how comfortable the heel is. This is probably like a two and a half, maybe three inch heel max. The inside of this shoe is very soft and cushiony. Like I'm pressing on it and you can feel the cushion there. These are so dang cute. I plan on wearing these all fall long. What is fall without something leopard print? I have no clue because I always come with the leopard print for fall. We've got a pointed toe, leopard print, sling back heel, very cushioned. A two and a half to three inch heel is my cutoff. These are comfortable. These are going to get you through lots of steps, lots of walking. You're going to be very cute, but you're also going to be very, very comfortable i have to warn you it's about to get real sad around here because we're down to the last two pair of fall shoes but let's carry on the next pair is the ballet flat with a square toe and the mesh ballet flat has been all over the place for a long time but this is so fun so cool we've got an ankle strap if you're into that i can see these being a really great shoe for holiday looks especially if you want to wear something cute and festive, but you don't want a high heel. Sometimes we actually want to go to the party and dance the night away. And if our feet hurt, we can't exactly do that. So this is going to save your feet if you want to be on the dance floor at the holiday parties. I feel like these would also look really cute under a long dress that you can't even see what shoe you're wearing. And then you get this little peak of sparkle. Wouldn't that be fun? This is sadly the last shoe. It's really fun and it's back to that metallic play that we love for holiday, right? Okay, we've got the silver metallic, we've got a platform sneaker, all of which is comfortable. The platform gives you a whole nother inch of height. And who doesn't want another inch of height? I don't know, unless you're already really tall. Super comfortable in soles. And again, you wanna be festive, you're at a holiday party or you're doing something else that's really fun. You want a comfortable shoe, but you want a festive shoe. This will get the job done. I don't know if you can see the details, but when you look at them online, you'll be able to see all around the edge that's just really cool stitching that is an added detail. We already talked about how important details are to an outfit. It sometimes can make the outfit. So this little detail on the side, chef's kiss. I absolutely cannot wait to see what y'all think of the shoes. So let me know in the comments, which shoe would you buy for fall? Which one is your favorite? Which one is an absolute no for you? All of these are a yes for me, but I want to know what y'all think too. So let me know in the comments. It's your color coach, Brandy, signing off. I'll see you in the next video and y'all have a good rest of your day. Remember, be you, be colorful, and be kind.